What's up everybody, Noble Lead Airsoft here, and today I have a scope review for you guys. So I did a big unboxing a little while back, which I'll put a link to right now if you guys didn't uh, catch the big unboxing. But uh, in that big unboxing I had this uh, scope right here, so I figured I'd do a little mini unboxing slash review for you guys that didn't see the big one. And this one's going to be a little bit more in depth for those of you who are looking to buy this scope. So, there's a couple things that make this thing really cool. First of all, of course, it's by NC Star, and they make really good stuff. So, um, this is definitely a really high-quality scope. So, you get a pretty nice box here. It's pretty solid cardboard. Um, now, on the bottom here, it wasn't taped when it came in, so I'm... That worries me a little bit about shipping, but it's not too much. So, when you get the box, of course, you have your scope right here. And the reason it's not in here right now is because it comes with the scope rings for it, and I have already put it on. So, um, this is the final version once you guys get it all um, put together right there. Um, so, this is what you get once you put the scope rings on. As you can see that I've already done that. So... Anyways, in the box when you first get it, you get this instruction manual on how to zero your scope. Pretty basic stuff. And then it also comes with a cleaning cloth for the lens. And then it comes with more stuff about how to zero in your scope, which really isn't that hard. It also comes with this uh, Allen wrench right here, which you use to tighten on these um, scope rings. So pretty much it's super simple. All you do is you just put it in there, you twist it, and that's it. They just go on and then you just tighten these things onto your rails and um, you're done. So it's pretty easy. Zeroing it in is also really easy. What you do is you take these caps off right here. This is the elevation. Let's see if I can get that to focus. I don't think it's going to want to. Um, this is the elevation right here. So. If you twist it counterclockwise, you're going to make the BB go up. And if you twist it clockwise, you're going to make the BB go down. And then uh, the same goes on the side here with the windage. So that's how you adjust the scope. And uh, if you guys want to know what it looks like looking down the scope, I'm going to try to get it in the camera here. Um, it's a little bit difficult, but hopefully I'll be able to do it get that light right there and then we zoom up this is what your scope reticle looks like when you are actually out shooting it so it's pretty basic it's just the standard crosshairs but you do have a couple um, little slashes in there that indicate uh, how far you should be aiming off your target due to wind and stuff like that so the uh, build of the scope it's uh, full metal right here all across the board so you don't have to worry about the thing breaking on you it's really not that heavy it might be a pound maybe I'd say it's probably less than a pound though so um, this is a really nice scope it clocks in at about thirty five dollars I think on airsoft GI I'll have to check that I'll probably put a correction if I got that terribly wrong but um, from what I remember that is the price of it so overall guys this is a really nice scope and I definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for a reasonably priced scope. This thing is definitely high quality coming from NC Star and it makes for a perfect uh, scope for beginners that are just getting their first scope or experts that have had a bunch of different scopes. This thing is really versatile because it can shoot from that 3 zoom to nine times zoom so you can take this into close quarters or get ridiculously long range shots off so that's going to be it for me today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to let me know down in the comment section or leave a like on this video but as i said that's it for me today guys and i'll see you in the next one